Hello, what's up, St. Cecilia? Today um, we're here to talk about and introduce Lyle Polyak. He's an artist that has been working and, and being part of St. Cecilia's family for many years. And we're going to interview you and to give you uh, a chance to talk about the arts here in the community and St. Cecilia. So um, I also have Carlos Hernandez, who's part of the What's Up St. Cecilia um, family, and he's going to help us, you know, engage with uh, Lyle Poliak. So um, Carlos, tell us about the uh, Centennial Celebration. Hello, everybody. So, as Deacon Will said, um, we are here today with Lyle Poliak. We continue with our centennial celebration, and today we are here at our Larkin Center with Lyle, our artist, <laughs> who has good things to say to us today, right? Yeah. Because, so, right now we are a, a pretty much Lyle and uh, introducing something new for us, which is an exhibition. But before you talk to us about the exhibition, let us know, let the, our community and Nico Will and I know, who's Lyle? How did, you, how, did, how did you know that you get that passion to be a, an artist? And uh, how did we get here? Let us know. Well, I've been a parishioner for a number of years now. Um, I am a local artist. My favorite mediums are charcoal, pastel, and watercolor. Um, for as long as I could remember, I enjoyed sketching, and over the course of the years, it just became a part of my faith. It's sometimes easier to express my prayers in a visual form through uh, charcoal drawings of the saints, of Jesus, of biblical scenes, than it is to put them into words and into that sort of context. So. Art is kind of a uh, vehicle for me for prayer and worship. Don't we don't we see you at mass sometimes, where you're actually uh, being inspired and, and, and you bring your sketches. Yes, it's, um, uh, you've probably seen them uh, if, if you come to Saint Cecilia during the weekend mass, uh, and you're like, yeah, what who is this? What guy? is that guy <laughs> doing over there? Oh yeah, the the church and mass in particular is extremely inspirational for me. So. I tend to arrive a couple minutes to an hour early with my family to just enjoy the setting and draw a couple scenes, sometimes biblically, biblically oriented and sometimes just things out of my recollections. Oh, wow. So tell us about how you got started uh, with putting together exhibits like the one that we're going to hopefully invite everybody to come. Well, the art requires printing from time to time. Um, if you want to sell art in mass, then you require a print agency or at least a decent printer to actually make suitable prints of your art for framing and for sale. So over the course of the years, I got into the printing industry. I now have my own print shop just down the street from St. Cecilia's where I duplicate my artwork. I duplicate artwork for a lot of different area artists and uh, do a number of print jobs from the church from there also. Mm -hmm. um, people came by and discovered me, and it turned into a business over the course of the years. And to give back to the community, we now host regular local art shows um, under the business name Talentum Meritus Arts Foundation. So, so would you say that it's that it's more of a divine approach, that it's, instead of a business, it's more of a mission, a ministry? It, it is a ministry. <laughs> it, it truly is a ministry. There's artists in the community that because of the subject matter they do, religious art in a secular community like the art world, there's a lot of galleries that just don't want to see religious pieces on their walls mm. because they see it as controversial. They don't want to offend people of other religions. Mm. Um, it's very difficult to find venues that will, re that will exhibit Christian religious artworks. So whenever we can, we find local venues that are open to it and we host pop-up exhibits there where we invite local artists to come and gather, exhibit their works, and show the community what faith-based art looks like. And you, you know, Carlos, I believe you and I went to the first exhibit uh, 
uh, during Christmas uh, mm -hmm. uh, at, at an art gallery in Dunedin. What was the name of that? Uh? Sterling Art Studios and yeah. Gallery. Uh, we had a cooperative with a local group called For the Love of God Art Series, and that is the group that is exhibiting at the Larkin Center right now. So, uh, you know, Carlos, you, in, in your perspective to, to uh, bring interest in, 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 in the exhibit uh, here at Larkin Center, how, how, how did you find it when you walked through the, the gallery? So the will so we, I, we were so, so impressed, gladly impressed when we went to the exhibit in Dunedin right. that we said, what do we do? What do we host something like that at St. Cecilia? Yeah. And that has been in our minds, you know, since December. And uh, by the way, thank you for being with us last week during our Easter, uh, Holy Week and Easter celebration. And we were, wa we were waiting until the end of the Holy Week and the beginning of Easter, because remember, Easter is not only the Easter Sunday, we have, we have 50 days of Easter, Easter season, yeah. because Jesus was walking on earth for 50 days before he was risen uh, uh, from death and before he ascended into heaven. Don't forget about that. So then, today we're here with this exhibit. So Lyle, tell you what we have behind us. What is this? This is a exhibit put together by the local art group called For the Love of God. It's headed by myself and a lady what by the name called? of Tara Where is it called? Jerry. This is the Centennial Easter Art Exhibit. Centennial Easter Art Exhibit at St. Cecilia Larkin Center. Right. And we've got a number of different mediums represented here, from oil to acrylic, pastel, even some stained glass pieces by local artists, all inspired by the Easter season and putting together an exhibit that's open for the parishioners of St. Cecilia to enjoy. But do you have your own piece? Too? My own pieces are here, but like, I, also, like I say, whenever I can, I like to leave the spaces open for others so that yeah. if, if somebody that uh, wants to exhibit brings their art by, I give up my space sure. to them. <laughs> so, and also, uh, several years ago, we uh, had uh, Lyle put together an art uh, exhibit of the seven sacraments. And they're here also for, for your enjoyment. You know, please join uh, us here at uh, St. Cecilia at this art exhibit, Easter art exhibit. It's a beautiful time here. Bring your family, bring your, your children, and, and, you know, and, and come and take away from uh, work and your daily activity and, and spend time to see uh, uh, a beautiful, uh, our exhibit show here at St. Cecilia. Yeah, we guarantee you that you are not gonna uh, feel disappointed when you take the time to to, to come and see right. the beauty that we have here. And, and again, this is another uh, event uh, celebrating the 100 year celebration of St. Cecilia as a church for the community of Pinellas County and Clearwater. Exactly. Thank you, Lyle. Thank you, Lyle. You're, you're doing Thank good you. work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what do we say? What's, What's up, up Cecilia? Bye-bye.